wizard to become an animagus. Animagi can transform themselves into animals and then back into people. For example, Are there any questions? Professor McGonagall, are werewolves animagi? No, they're not. Animagi turn into animals at will. A werewolf cannot control its transformation. Now for today's lesson, the Draconifers and Lepiphors spells. Miss Granger, perhaps you'd grace the class by having a go at the exercise I've prepared. Me? Oh, yes! If you'll just step through this door, then... Let's begin with the Lapiphor spell, Miss Granger. Right. Lapiphors. The transformation of a small object into a rabbit. Correct, Miss Granger. Five house points for Gryffindor. Cast Lapiphors on the rabbit statue. You will then be able to control the transfigured rabbit. Lapiphors! Use the arrow keys to move the rabbit in the desired direction. The right mouse button will make the rabbit hop. Push the forward arrow key and hold down the right mouse button for the longest jumps. Press the enter key any time you wish to stop the spell. Or simply complete the task at hand with the rabbit, and the spell will stop on its own. Well done! Now, take note of the mound of earth. Position the rabbit on top of the dirt, and press the left mouse button to begin digging. Right! Use the left mouse button to chew or dig. You will find rabbit holes throughout the challenge, Miss Granger. If a hole is blocked by grass, click the left mouse button to make the rabbit chew through the vegetation. Got it! Press the left mouse button to chew through the grass. Splendid, Miss Granger.
let's move on to the Draconifor spell. Cast on the dragon statue, Miss Granger, to transform it into a living creature. Draconifors! Oh, brilliant! Now, listen closely. To proceed, you will need to use the dragon to get the fireball pickup. Then fly up and land on a platform. Finally, you must light the torch to complete this part of the challenge. Off you go, Miss Granger. Click the spacebar to make the dragon fly. Use the arrow keys to make it turn. Click the left mouse button to make the dragon breathe fire. Once it's grabbed a fireball pickup, the dragon will produce one blast of flames for each pickup.